Hi, Alexers. You might think that fashion is the only victim when you buy a knockoff t-shirt, but the truth is it's not a victimless crime. I think we can all agree, if we created an awesome business or brand and then anyone was allowed to cash in on our hard work, we would be pretty cheesed off. But somehow, when it comes to fashion and tech, it's often acceptable because we feel the prices are too high. We're about to dive into this controversial topic and show you there are plenty more reasons not to buy fake goods other than the high price tag of the original. You might be surprised the people who really lose are not who you intended to take from. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. If you're not subscribed yet, you're missing out. Now let's browse through 15 reasons to never buy a counterfeit or a fake product. Number 1. You're funding a dishonest person's business. In business, if you are who you associate with, then best you find honest people to associate with. But why, when it comes to buying fashion or tech brands, do we suddenly let our morals slide? When we purchase a fake product, we are making a business transaction with someone who is dishonest. In other words, your purchase is helping them profit and continue their deception. And you are caught up in it too. Every time you wear the item flaunting a brand, you are essentially lying. Number 2. Counterfeit business impacts the local and global economy negatively. You can't exactly imagine someone in the dirty business of counterfeiting to be above board in other ways. This is where their underground business dealings start to impact the real world. Not only do they steal from the brands they copy, but also the communities where they operate. They avoid export duties and try to jimmy the system at every corner. These undercutting ways make it impossible for legitimate local and global business to compete with their prices. It's estimated that the counterfeit market wiped out 2.5 million jobs globally and cost the U.S. market $200 billion annually. But more on the financial aspects later. The job losses to legitimate permanent employees alone is reason enough to never buy fake. Number 3. You push up the price of the real thing. Every time you buy fake, you're making the price of the real thing even more unobtainable to yourself in the future. Companies with great brands spend a lot of money trying to protect them. They need to copyright designs and logos to protect them against other copies. And when they're reproduced, they spend a lot of time trying to fight back against the counterfeiting. This adds to their bottom line and pushes up the price of their product. There is another side of it too. Because the fake version of their product is being sold en masse, very few people go and buy the real thing. This means all the design time, luxury manufacturing and marketing spend used to make the product desirable has to be recouped over a small run of the product, making each item cost a lot more. Number 4. You know for sure you aren't buying quality. You can rest assured that a manufacturer that is happy to steal someone's design isn't worried about producing a quality product. It's not like it's their name on the label. Plus, if you're dissatisfied with the quality, you can't exactly take it back for a refund. With no legal paper trail linking a manufacturer to a product, like in the case of counterfeit manufacturers, there's no reason to make the product well. They have no good reputation to uphold. Which leads us to the next point. Number 5. You get what you pay for. So if you didn't pay very much, you're gonna get some rubbish. Fast fashion and fake consumer goods all need replacing far sooner than quality brands. This is leading to a massive waste problem. You are causing more rubbish in landfills, and you'll have to replace the item again sooner. Fake goods are also produced in unregulated factories that don't adhere to environmental standards for energy efficiency, clean machinery, or correct disposal of waste. They have no reason to reduce their carbon footprint or adopt environmentally friendly practices because it isn't their reputation they need to uphold. Sadly, many of the real brands are trying hard to turn around their manufacturing practices to make them more environmentally friendly, and fake versions of their products completely undermine the changes they're making. When shipments of counterfeit items are seized, the whole batch is usually incinerated, releasing massive amounts of pollutants into the air and wasting valuable resources that could have been put to better use. Number 6. The Fake Market Promotes Poor Working Conditions 
If you've ever had a bad job, you know how horrible a poor working environment can be. Now imagine if your position gave you no job security and you had no way to protect yourself because the whole operation was illegal. And we know what you're going to say. There are no good working conditions in a sweatshop, but at least in a legal one you can seek legal help and you know you can tip off the media to the working conditions at the very least. In an illegal operation, there are no worker rights, and factory owners exploit this by threatening punishment. They don't even pay minimum wage, let alone offer benefits or time off. Factory workers are forced into dangerous conditions and unregulated hours of work for very little pay. And if you think this is the worst of it, think again. You won't even guess who else is roped into working in these conditions. Number 7. You're Killing Design and Innovation why would anyone want to go to design school, slowly and painstakingly build a reputation for quality luxury goods over years and years, and keep innovating in their chosen craft if 10 times more fakes of their product were sold than the real thing? It's discouraging and disillusioning for luxury brands to have their designs and innovations ripped off, with little to no consequence. It causes design to stagnate and innovation to come to a halt. No one is inspired to be at the top of their game and keep pushing the limits of fashion and design if they don't get the credit or the profit. Number 8. Counterfeiting isn't where the crime ends you know that saying, birds of a feather flock together? Well, like attracts like in the underground world of fake goods. There is plenty of other crime and illegal activity linked to the organized crime ring of the counterfeit market. Not only is selling counterfeit goods a great way for a crime ring to launder their dirty money, the UN has studied these syndicates and found them linked to gangs involved in drug and sex trafficking too. According to the UN, counterfeiting is one of the most lucrative activities of transnational organized crime gangs, meaning that your fake goods Gucci bag might be helping a crime ring smuggle drugs or even traffic human beings, and that is pretty heavy stuff for any of us to unknowingly be supporting. Number 9. It's tacky and usually pretty obvious. Someone's gotta say it, so it might as well be us. Flashing a fake brand is really tacky. If the faux leather or spelling errors didn't give it away, the fact you're riding the bus with a $2,000 pair of shoes might make people wonder about your life choices. We know how alluring luxury brands are, but they are luxury for more than just their logo on a t-shirt. They are well-crafted, top-quality materials, and have certain guarantees. Also, these brands have spent decades on building a reputable name that's proven it's worth the money. That doesn't mean you can't have nice things. We're not saying that for one second. There are plenty of other ways, like buying secondhand or buying more affordable local or upcoming luxury brands. Plus, imagine the cred when you can say you're there from the start of the next luxury global brand. And hang around, we'll link you to a video on these very brands. Number 10. The Real Cost of Fakes – No Paper Trail, No Taxes if Robin Hood stole from the rich and gave to the poor, then rip off goods, steal from the poor, and give to the criminally wealthy. Counterfeit factories steal from the companies they operate in by not paying taxes. It should come as no surprise these crime operations aren't exactly up to date on their company tax obligations. So what's the big deal with skipping a few tax payments? Well, those taxes fund building the roads that the criminals' heavy trucks drive on, building public schools the factory workers' kids need feeding schemes and social programs, all that the families of poorly paid staff need to survive. So what exactly does this come down to in cold hard cash figures? Well, counterfeiting is a rapidly growing business. In 2017, there was an estimated $1 trillion worth of fake products sold. In 2020, that figure is estimated to close the year around $1.8 trillion. That's all untaxed, no-strings-attached money in the hands of criminals. In 2017, legitimate businesses lost out around $323 billion to the fake market. Number 11. Fake products are subpar, unsafe, and can contain dangerous chemicals. No one is making sure that counterfeit factories maintain safety standards or even follow the most basic of standards when it comes to using hazardous materials. It's not exactly like anyone will track them down for a refund or try to sue them for exposing them to toxic chemicals. People who deal in crime as a profession don't exactly care about your health. They only consider finding the cheapest way to make a product look like the real thing. If your fake Nutribullet explodes in your face or your knockoff Nikes cause a knee injury, that's of no concern to this type of manufacturer. Consumer groups have done surveys of counterfeit products sold online. 
For example, reports on a load of Princess Catherine dolls were stopped in the Czech Republic. They contained high levels of toxic compounds linked to causing cancer. They also found unsafe levels of boron in children's slime toys, which caused illness and impaired fertility. The studies concluded that the people taking chances with counterfeits need to seriously think twice about the danger these products could pose for themselves and their families. Number 12. Fakes get free marketing but give nothing back Advertising and marketing campaigns fund a lot of arts, culture, sports, and entertainment. The tickets sold at a music concert hardly cover the artistic fees, stadium hire, and sound and lighting production. That bill is largely picked up by sponsors, who use the events to get their brands out there. In return, they hope to sell their products to you at a later stage. So not only are fakers getting free design while capitalizing on the years it takes to build up a well-known and loved brand, they're also freeloading on all the good feels and publicity that comes from sponsors sponsoring public events. No matter what you feel about the ethics of big business making major markups on pairs of sneakers, we don't know a single professional athlete sponsored by Adibas or a national team sponsored to attend the Olympics by Redoc. Your legitimate sneakers are paying toward that though, and your taxes paid on them are keeping local sports fields open and keeping roads safe. Number 13. You're caught up in crime too. While buying fake products might not be a big deal where you live, most countries call selling counterfeit products a crime. So if you buy a fake and then sell it later on, you are now in the illegal business of selling counterfeit goods. In the US, for example, you could face a jail sentence of up to 10 years or a fine of up to $2 million. Plus, once the justice system is done with you, you could also face civil charges for copyright infringement and other charges by the brand themselves. And you can bet your behind they have some fancy lawyers. Number 14. It promotes child labor. Kids should be in school or on the playground, not in a labor camp like servitude making fake Nikes. Unfortunately, in the nefarious world of knockoffs, there are no holds barred when it comes to illegal labor practices, and often children get roped into the mix. Now, picture those same unsafe and relentless conditions we mentioned earlier in this video with children working in them. It's a human rights violation, and purchasing fake goods is making it a viable business for crime bosses to be in. Number 15. It's poor people who ultimately pay for the lower price tag. The ugly truth of buying fake or counterfeit products is that it is poor communities that pick up the bill for the money you feel saved by not buying the real thing. Not only are poor communities more vulnerable to be exposed to the illegal work practices, but they are also the people who most need the benefits that the tax that companies and consumers pay will make available. So even if you don't care about affecting the profits of big luxury brands like Gucci or Louis Vuitton, it's the factory workers that are exploited in illegal factories and the poor communities in these countries where the goods are produced. Plus, it leads to legitimate job losses in the companies being copied. And Aluxers, that brings us to the end of the video. But before you go, we've got a question for you. What fake purchase have you regretted in your life and why? Share your story with us in the comments. And for sticking with us until the end, here's your bonus. So what should you do if you're hungry for these luxury brands but don't have the cash yet to fund your fashion habit? Well, instead of trying to appear rich by buying a fake version of a luxury brand, tap into your local fashion scene. This way, you could be funding the next big thing. Plus, you're supporting creativity and innovation, which us Aluxers are all about. Want to know what up-and-coming brands to look out for? We made a video all about it. The 15 luxury accessories to own and why. Check it out by clicking in the top right corner. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question on our website, alux.com. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.